Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Peter and today we are going doing the part 7 of this iPhone 7 tutorial. So we're gonna start with rear camera. Actually we have to finish rear camera. So let's hide this glass and let's edit this hole. It should be 0 0.4 minus 0 0.175 and now we need sketch here. It's gonna be cycle of diameter 3.52 and we are doing the cutting by 0 0.4 with draft so the angle is gonna be 55 and let's cut only this body and that's it now also when it comes to camera we need dome here is gonna have 0 0.5 value okay now let's also offset it by 0 so let's offset this uh, face by 0 so we're gonna have the surface body there uh, as a separated piece from the whole phone so in rendering that's gonna be easy to use and also we're gonna hide the surface of sets and use same cutting to do the same cutting we did so 0 0.4 angle 55 and also let's cut direction 2 by by 1 without angle, without the drafts and we are cutting on this solid body now as you can see here what I said previously here we have the the flat um, flat surface and this is the phone solid body that is now going to be separated from the surface body you are gonna be able to easily change appearance and when you load it when you load it in rendering software it's gonna be easy to separate it and so on so that's why we are using the surface of set and recutting that thing let's leave it like this and let's hide let's show the the glass as you can see also the glass is separated solid body for the same purpose of rendering now let's see what's next cut the glass so sketch here cycle diameter is going to be 425 and extract that cut up to next and select for feature scope only the glass body and we're gonna use the same sketch to make a boss it's gonna be 0175 to the inside do not merge results so the reason for this is also to have separated body of this glass because this part of glass is gonna be black and this one is gonna be transparent for the camera and that's how it goes let's see what's next we're gonna need now to show some of these circular sketches use right plane and this center point to make a plane okay sketch on the plane and let's hide the plane of course let's hide let's actually leave the sketch and we need this edge so let's actually select this face and do uh, intersection curve I'm gonna delete this bottom piece bring back the right view and now this should be the line is it line I think it is we will see now we're gonna need one spline something like this from this edge to this edge make sure you don't press the midpoint so something like this and uh, one two and three that's how it goes now what we need to do is to make this spline and this line tangents okay it's not working let's actually make this for construction and use the line to make 
line from point to point and then use that line to make here actually let's let's trim let's trim sorry about this let's trim everything that's here and make this curvature so curvature relation let's also draw center line from these points straight up so make it vertical and also let's make the center line and spline uh, curvature now we need also some dimensions so we go from this point till this one like this 0 0.5 and we also go from from this point till this one 0 0.5 now for these handles of the spline, I hope you can see them, they are both going to be 1, so add the dimension by 1. Now what's left to do is to just add dimension here, let's make it 1, and also, I guess this should be for construction, yes, okay, and also, draw a center line like this make sure it's horizontal and it's gonna be with this point it's gonna be coincidence sketch is fully defined it means we are done exit the sketch and do revolve so for selected contours we have this area here and for axis we have this axis now in feature scope select only this solid body and let's see if if it's looking good yes it is so that's the detail done we can now hide this sketch and let's see what's next yeah you, you could easily do here the fillet but I wanted to do it differently so let's see what's next now we're gonna do those details that are probably using that are probably used to have the Wi-Fi signal those plastic points. So let's make a sketch on front plane and get it back to the back view. So now we're gonna convert this edge and this one. Add center line from midpoint of this one to the uh, this direction trim out this one yes add one line like this and make sure this line goes from the top edge of the phone fuck so from top edge of the phone 13.31 trim out this this thing and this one offset by 2 this edge actually it's a select chain so select chain offset by 2 make sure this is let's say 10 and mirror everything except the center line over the center line and of course we have some problems let's see what the fuck is the problem well guess what we don't have to do it like this I think yeah, we can just undo. I don't want to mess around with sketch relation, so add one line here. Here we have it trimmed, and now we can exit the sketch. Uh, split a line, this face, and this one. Click OK, and now we should having be having this thing also on this side of the phone, so to do that, we're gonna use surface offset by zero so offset this face, this one and that's it and do a, a mirror uh, bodies to mirror select here filter surface bodies and mirror it on right plane 
Now what we also want, let's hide this main body. What we also want is to have these surfaces connected. So surfaces need surface and need these two in one solid, I mean surface body. Let's unhide the solid body. Okay, so we are having what we wanted. Let's see what's next. I'm not even following my sketches. Okay, so mirror this surface body over the plane. It's not top plane, it's plane number one we made. Okay, what's next? Now we need also to surface offset by zero what we also actually already did. So select this surface bodies this one. So we are offsetting it by zero again because we need one copy of it. And let's hide that last copy and use tick and use this first surface to make a tick and cut by 0 0.1 and let's use this mid option so we are sure it's gonna cut the phone and in feature scope select this main body of the phone and this is how it should looks like look like and now we're gonna unhide the surface of set la the last one we did we're gonna show it and use it to make a thicken. Again 0 0.1, 0 0.1, do not merge result and the option we wanna use is to make it go inside so it's gonna go like this. Like I said, do not merge results. Click OK, let's see what's next. We're gonna also do the tick and cut on this of this bottom surface. So 0 0.1, I'm gonna use mid option and do not auto select. Select only this solid body. Okay, for now we're gonna leave this bottom piece and get and take care of the top one. So control save everything and let's make a few fillets. I'm gonna hide this small solid body for now and do the fillet of 0 0.7 for this edge and this one and also for same edges here so that's 0 0.7 and we also need 1.7 for this inside edge and same here on the top okay now let's unhide this thickened body and hide this, we don't have to actually. Let's just make fillet 0 0.7 on this edge. Same on this side. And again fillet 1.7 for this edge here. I guess you can understand what I'm doing right now. <laughs> So it's the edges of this solid body, 1.7. So when you hide this main solid body, this is how it's looking like. Unhide. And what's next? Yeah, we are gonna use this thing now to just do a mirror body of this one over the plane number one and it's gonna appear here and there's the job done when it comes to these pieces let's see what's next now another thing about the rendering and this project called iPhone here we made split line so when you add here transparency to 
render it in some other software like Keyshot, you're gonna have it separated but it may not be perfectly imported in Keyshot since it's only the separated face on this body it's not solid body so if you want you can leave it like this and take a risk or you can just do what I'm gonna do and make this a separated solid body by doing next thing I'm gonna show so use this sketch we made split line 5 use that sketch to do extra cut by 0 0.1 on the inside of course select only this body for cutting and same here for this one let's rebuild use the sketch extra cut 0 0.1 and now you can go on this face, select sketch, offset by 0 0.01 on the inside I'm having my SolidWorks a little bit bugging here okay so exit the sketch and do extruded boss by 0 0.1 do not merge results and that's how you have this apple sign apple logo as a separated body of course do same thing for this face sketch offset by 0 0.01 on the inside exit the sketch extruded boss by 0 0.1 do not merge results and that's pretty much it now when you wanna use this for the rendering you can have it as a separated solid body and that's how you're gonna avoid any mistakes when it comes to importing this file in other softwares cause even if you don't add like this if you even if you don't add this um, how it's called appearance this color for this solid body if you only have this the same you're ag again gonna be able to easily unlink those materials because it's separated on a separate solid body so let's see what's next we have to do one surface and that's pretty much it I think so front plane sketch or actually let's see which plane we're gonna use Yeah, let's use plane number two. It's the mid plane. So sketch, and we need two lines. One, two. Make sure these are collinear. Length of lines is 15 and 15. Between the points, we have 17.15, 17.5. Sorry and also of course from the origin we have till this point 17.5 by 2 and from the bottom edge till the line we have 1.5 so exit the sketch and we're gonna make we're gonna make extruded surface now this surface is gonna be mid plane length 3 and that's it you also you're also gonna have it as a separated surface body and that's what you're gonna use in rendering to just not show this large speaker hole going all in and I think this is pretty much everything for this video in the next one we're gonna have just simple details to to finish I think and the uh, iPhone 7 is completely done of course after that video I may do the keyshot rendering tutorial which is actually not so hard to do once you have the phone and yeah that's it thank you for watching and see ya in my next one